Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have x minus 2 to the power of 4 equals 81. Okay, what do I do first? I want to apply difference of two squares. So I will break this into two. So I have x minus two to the power of two. Then everything here to the power of two. Then on the other side, this is 81, right? 81 is the same thing as nine to the power of two. Now what I have in here, I can expand this first. Remember a minus b to the power of 2 is the same thing as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So my x is a in this place. So I'm going to have x squared, right? Then um, here we have minus 2ab. That will be minus 2 times x times 2. So we have minus 4x. Then plus here we have b squared. That will be 2 squared and we'll have 4. Now this is to the power of 2. The 2 outside is appearing here. And this is equal to we have 9 to the power of 2. Remember my target was to apply difference of two squares. So I'm going to bring this to the left. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 to the power of 2 minus 9 to the power of 2 equals 0. Now, what is the next step? The next step is to apply difference of two squares. A squared minus B squared, it's the same as A plus B into A minus B. So I'm going to apply the same um, difference of two squares here. My A is the whole of this. So I'll write X squared minus 4X plus 4. Then B here is 9, so I'm going to write plus 9. Then in the second bracket, we have x squared minus 4x plus 4. Then this time around, it's going to be minus 9. Then everything is equal to 0. Remember, the whole of this is a, and 9 here is b. So our x squared minus 4x plus 13 is the factor here and then on the other hand we have x squared minus 4x minus 5 right so this is equal to 0 4 minus 9 is minus 5 so we can now solve the two equations let's begin with this but okay how do we even get the equation we're going to equate either of these to zero since we're multiplying them to get zero so x squared minus 4x plus 13 is equal to zero now let's solve this problem using the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a okay a is 1 b is minus 4 c is 13 so this means that our x will now be in place of minus b i'm supposed to write minus minus 4 and that will turn this to plus 4 then plus or minus square root of b squared that will be negative 4 in bracket squared Okay, then we have minus 4 times 1 times 13. Then we divide this. We divide this by 2 times 1. 
Now, our x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 squared is 16. Then minus 4 times 1 times 13 is 52. Right? Then this is over 2 because 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so x is now 4 plus or minus. We have square root of um, 16 minus 52 is minus 36. Then we divide this by 2. This is the same as x being equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 36 times square root of negative 1. Okay. If you multiply these two, you have square root of negative 36. Then we divide this by 2. To go ahead with this, our x will be 4 plus or minus square root of 36 is 6. Then times square root of negative 1, that will give us i. Then we write everything over 2. Let's continue. Okay, so our x will now be 2 can go there. We have 2. Now these 2 again will go there. So we have plus or minus 3i. And this is a 2 in 1 solution. Okay, so we have x to be equal to 2 plus 3i. Then the same x to be equal to, we have 2 minus 3i. So from here we have two solutions. Now let's go back to one of the other factors. Okay, I mean the other factor. Remember, this is one of the factors and we have used this. So we are going to use this right away. So I will write it and then we'll solve it as we equate it to zero. Okay, so let's solve this again because this is a quadratic equation and we are using this formula again minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a so our x will be minus minus 4 that will be plus 4 like we had before plus or minus we have square root of negative 4 squared just like we had before then minus we have 4 we have 4 times 1 times remember a is 1 b is minus 4 and c is minus 5 so we write minus 5 here as we divide this by 2 times 1 now our x will now be 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 squared is 16 Minus minus will give positive then 4 times 1 times 5 that would be 20 So this is all over 2 Now x is equal to 4 plus or minus Square root of 16 plus 20 is 36 Then we divide by 2 Okay by 2 This is 2 Now our x is 4 plus or minus square root of 36 is 6 then we divide by 2 just like we did before 2 will go here and the same 2 will go there so we say that our x is equal to 2 into 4 is 2 plus or minus 2 into 6 is 3 and then this is 2 in 1 so x is equal to 2 plus 3 or 2 minus 3 so x is 5 or minus 1. Now if we are to bring the four solutions together, we will have our x1 to be 2 plus 3i, our x2 to be 2 minus 3i, then our x3 to be 5, then our x4 to be equal to negative 1. So these are the four solutions. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so you can have access to more of my videos.